starting life in Nairobi, guy. Or in just alone. Hey, not so easy. Plus, even getting job in Nairobi, like it's not easy. Everything that I am right now, it's just God's mercy. Honestly, everything that I'm right now is just God's mercy and God's favor because I also can't explain. Honestly, I also can't explain because I feel like this house has been like my my prayer house, yeah? <laughs> like, my prayer house. Like, so many things has happened in this house. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joyce. For those of you who are new here, thank you for clicking on my YouTube channel. Thank you for even deciding to watch this video. And, guys, as I always say, I will never get tired of telling you thank you. Guys, I've decided to do this one video that I don't honestly know when I'm going to ever upload it. Maybe in the near future. But for now, as, as for now, I don't know. Um... Like this one video I recorded on last year, it was around September after a few months after I I moved into this house and I did a house tour just to honestly when I all my house tours that I normally do I don't okay I normally post them but honestly from the bottom of my heart normally I, I posting them is not like the motive behind each and every time I record them mostly i can say that i normally record the video about my house tour just to just to keep track of my like of my life <laughs> anyway i did a house tour uh, last year and when i was doing a house tour of the current house that i am it's a bed sitter but a very uh, spacious bed sitter when i was doing that house tour i remember saying that um maybe next year like 2024 i will consider moving out maybe to a one bedroom but i didn't feel like the pressure of doing that because um the house the bed sitter was um or rather it still is so um like it's enough for me honestly i can't complain it's enough for me because like it's huge and it fits my everything it fits everything that i have plus i'm just alone like for now i'm just living alone and so the bed sitter is really serving me so well like plus the location where it's located because it's so convenient from my workplace, like from the, um, like all the amenities that I normally use, it's normally so convenient. And um, when I was say when I was, was I was doing the previous video about my house tour, maybe you can go back and watch it. I remember saying that um, maybe I'll some day consider moving out, maybe to a one bedroom. But honestly, when I was doing that that video, I didn't have even the motive. Like I didn't even have that that pressure of of moving out because as i have to do guys like I, I just live alone i'm just i just live alone and so like bed sitter it's more than enough for me honestly just more than enough because like ah, come on i'm just alone <laughs> and it really serves me so well but um recently i just felt the pressure of just not like the pressure i just felt like compelled to move to a, a bigger space um Honestly, I don't know why. I, I I don't want to say like because of maybe something changed or anything. I just felt like I, it's high time I change. It's high time I just move to um to a one bedroom house, yeah. And um so recently I, I had in mind that um not even recently like just last last month that's when I I I just sat down and I just decided that I think it's high time I just move to a one bedroom. I think um. It's enough of staying in a bed sitter. I think it's high time they just move to another level. And I don't know why. I honestly I don't know why. I don't know why. Because I'm still living alone and when if if I move to a bigger space, like I'll still be alone. Yeah. But anyway, I decided to just go around looking for a maybe a spacious house, a one bedroom that is convenient in a place that I can like close to their amenities and that was my plan, yeah. But for some weird reason, tell me why I now feel like I, I, I should not move to a one bedroom, but I should move to a two bedroom house. Tell me why. Am I ready for that? Um, honestly, I don't know. Uh, but uh, I feel like I should not only move to, from this house but i should move to a more spacious place um like not, not a one bedroom like for for a two bedroom but i still live alone yeah i still live alone 
and um but all of you know um okay for those people who have been following me from day one they know that i have a daughter i have a daughter that for now we, we don't live with her like we don't live with her but i just felt like um it's high time i just look for a more spacious house so that maybe one day maybe when she'll be baby visiting or maybe when she start living with me like she'll have her own space yeah i don't know if you understand and i i felt like uh i uh, like i should not just move to one bedroom and then later move to another two bedroom i felt like it's high time i just move like straight to two bedroom and uh, i don't know if i'm ready for that <laughs> honestly i don't know if i'm ready for that and i don't know why like i feel like i should do that i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't i don't know if it's god i don't know if it's my mind i don't know if it's pressure like no one is giving me pressure because i, I just live alone no one's giving me pressure but i just feel like it's high time i just move to one bedroom and maybe maybe it's it's God showing me a sign that my daughter maybe will soon join me. I don't know. Maybe it's God showing me that maybe I will be having so many visitors in my house. I don't know. Because as the thing stands for, for, for now, me I, I don't even have friends that comes to visit my place. Like, I, I don't have friends that comes to visit me. Plus, I think I also, I also don't get time to go visit friends. So, okay. It's a... Uh, it's a lose lose war. Huh? It's not a win win. <laughs> it's a lose lose because I I don't visit my friends and so they don't visit me back. Plus I'm not normally available to be visited. The only time that I'm free, normally it's on Sunday, and most of the time I just spend my time with God in church. And after church, I just relax and just stay at home. Just like I don't know. I don't know if someone like you are like me. Like you reach in a point whereby you feel like you don't want like to be. I don't know. I don't know how how that will come from my mouth. Yo, I'm sorry. Yo, kushinda mkitembeleana, tembeleana. I don't know. Like I, I felt like it's not like I, I, I don't, I don't like want to associate with people. But yo kushinda mtembeleana, tembeleana kwa nyumba. For me, I don't know why it sounds so. I would rather we meet somewhere, honestly. I would rather not like I don't like visitors, but yo kushinda like each and every time, each and every time I am in Kobishango, Kobishango, like each and every time, like Bishango, Kwangu. Like, I, honestly, I feel like I don't have that time. I hope that's not sounding so rude, yeah. I have time for my friends, but to see yo sana ya kushinda to kingiana sana like kujuana like you know my bedroom you know my kitchen you know my everything let's just meet outside there hmm? let's just meet outside there my house iko ni nyumba yangu and maybe my family yeah and maybe friends once in once in a while <clears throat> Once in a while. I'm so welcoming by the way. Don't judge me. And I have so good friends that I would really love them to be visiting me. But spend kuzoyana sana na watu. But anyway, I don't know what your story kwa nyemetoka. So guys, uh, I'm doing this video today and I, I, I don't know when I will ever post it. Maybe I'll post it once. I've already moved in to, to, to the other place and maybe when I have already settled to other place. Uh, and I don't want to lie to you guys. Like I really loved this space. Like I really loved this space. Oh my goodness! I really loved my small house. I really loved it. Let's oh, not. I really loved loved this place. Like um, I loved it. I don't know if you are like me. I, 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 I think I don't know. I think my heart just when it's love something, it's just love something like so crazily. And like I feel like I'm so attached to this space because, like, because um, like I have done so many things in this house. Uh, like I have done. Uh, okay, I don't know if I will be. I should be mentioning that. I feel like this house has been like my my prayer house yeah <laughs> like my prayer house like so many things has happened in this house and so i feel like i'm so attached to this house because um it's where i normally lock myself inside and i just talk to my god i just speak to my god like i love this place like honestly i love this place because it gives me peace when and then my head comes filled up with so many stuff when i come to this place and i just 
go to like I just speak to my God. I normally feel so relieved. Like I normally feel so much relieved. And so I feel like this house gives me some peace. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like it's like it's normally give me some peace. Plus I, I love how it's it's not that small. Like it serves it have it, it accommodates everything that I have. But still it's not that big. Because I, I I don't know if honestly I'm ready to to be in a, um in a big house. Yeah, honestly I don't know if I'm ready to be in a big house. As much as I feel like it's high time I, I move to a bigger house, I don't feel like I'm ready to do that. Um not not though that because I, I don't feel like I'm ready, but because I'm used to just seeing like when I look at this I am seeing my main door. When I look at this, I'm seeing my bed, my wardrobe, like I, I when I look at this and I'm seeing my TV, like I'm seeing my washroom, like I'm seeing everything when I'm seated here. So that was up and uh, guys, I honestly feel um like God has been so great to me. When I was doing that video and I was saying, I remember I still mentioned, uh, like, I've just come from watching that video right now. Even that sort has compelled me to do this video. Because after watching that video, I I, I remembered, like, it, it took me to that point when I was doing that video. And my heart was filled with so much, like, with so much um appreciation, like, with so much thanks to God. I was filled with so much, like, I was so overwhelmed with what God had like was doing in my life at that point, like because it's been for me to move to this biggest to this house, which uh, is not cheap. It's not uh, say bearing in mind it's a bed sitter. I can say it's expensive because um, it's expensive. It's, uh, I okay. I don't want to say the the price that I pay, but it's expensive. And for me, even to afford paying this house. At that point, I felt not even at that point. Even at this point, I feel like I have just taken God's grace. I have just taken uh, God's favor in my life. And I remember when I was doing that video, like um, I was I was so much overwhelmed. I was saying thank you, God. Like not not on camera, but I was just in my heart. I was just feeling so much thanks, saying that God, like it's your doing. Like you have made me to come to this far, even to afford every, anything that I have. Because starting life in Nairobi is not something easy. I don't want to lie to you. Starting life in Nairobi, guy, when you're just alone, hey, it's not so easy. Plus, even getting job in Nairobi, like it's not easy. If God is not, like, if if it was not for God, hmm? you know, I, I normally hear people say that, ni God, oh, ni God manze. And maybe some people bring in the Godfather. As for me, like, I just feel like it's God. It has been God all through. It has been God's favor. It has been God mercy. It has been just God's love upon my life that have been so much like <sighs> I don't normally like talking about um God in camera because um <laughs> like I, I just feel like um I'm I'm showing you the the other part the 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 my my the my the um, the vulnerable part of me, like the other part of me that maybe I don't normally share on camera or maybe on YouTube. But guys, there is God in heaven and there is God who hears our prayers and there is God who answers our prayers and there is God who answers even prayers that we even never prayed for. There is God who just sees the desires of your heart and gives you the desires of your heart even before you report them to, to him. There is God who knows exactly what you want. And sometimes when you just pray and you just pray for something different and God knows that maybe that's what you are praying for is not what we need. God will definitely at the end of the day give you the exact thing that you require despite the fact that maybe you you did not pray for that. For me, I feel like God has been so like God's grace has been upon my my life, and um, sometimes some favors that I get from God is not. I, I sometimes I just feel like if I even don't like deserve them. Honestly, I I, I feel like I don't deserve them. But hey, God has been so great. Like even for me to just afford paying house rent in Nairobi. Hmm. Well. It's have been good. When you see us recording and posting video, don't think that maybe our life is so smooth out here. Well, sometimes it's exa the exact opposite. I remember I've stayed for this house for quite some months, even without job. 
like without working and there is no one who is coming to pay for your bills there is no one who is coming to pay for your bills and as much as um maybe some people will say oh ni mewe ulita ulijitakia kukua kukitoka hiyo maisha ya singleness like um people are suffering on their own so i wouldn't say that i'm suffering because i'm single honestly i wouldn't say that because hata watu wenyewe wamewana there is some people wanafungiwa nyumba Okay, I don't want to give examples. But there is some people I've seen him with my own eyes who are mameoana and wanafungiwa nyumba. So me just being alone and God and God giving me um providing for me to for the rent, for the food, for the clothing, for peace. Um even without job. <laughs> even without salary. Eish that has been god like has been god and i remember when this year was starting um there is this um i don't know i don't know if you are you are you, you are a person like me who sometimes you just feel so compelled about something that you even don't know where the motive is coming from and when you when you, you just feel compelled to do something that like you don't know even why you, you are doing like yourself is someone asking you why you are doing that you even don't know that has been me like right now the way i'm telling you that i'm feeling like i'm, I'm so much compelled to move to a two bedroom and i i don't know why like i, I don't know I, i don't know why i i feel like I, i should move to a two bedroom but when you sit me down and ask me that do you think that it's logic for you to move to a two bedroom when you are just living alone i will say no it's not logic but still i feel compelled so that is me and when was this year was starting i felt so much compelled to like i prayed to god and i i remember i was telling god that this year 2024 let everything that caused pain in the previous years like let just let, let, let us just leave it to that point and everything to be just new and i remember even posting in my in my in my I, my status i remember i've been posting in my facebook saying that it's done like it's done and if you asked me at that point when I, like what exact thing i was saying that it's done honestly i don't know honestly i don't know like i i sometimes i just leave i i just feel um some crazy pressure in me I don't need some crazy pressure. I don't even know why, what, how to explain to it. Like sometimes I just feel like some like a pressure to do something. And when later I do that thing even if it to something that I I don't know why I'm doing it. Sometimes it comes to my mind and I was like, "Oh God. I think that's why God you wanted me to do this thing." And I, at that point I didn't I didn't understand like the, when I was doing that thing I didn't understand why I was doing that thing. And right now as i was telling right now it's what when, when i am understanding when i was telling god that uh, when i was posting saying that it's done like i felt in my heart like it's done it's done and i i, I remember posting and saying that uh, let ev- god let everyone know that it has been new all along like email up papa god you have done it like it's done like it's done it's done and let everyone know that it has it has always been god and right now it's now making sense as much as that point that that point when i was posting that i didn't honestly really understand why i i, I was posting that i didn't honestly understand why i was posting that but i just felt in my heart um it's done and i don't know what was done but i just felt like so much relieved i just felt like like it's done like it's done like i'm so much relieved like god you've done it and there were so many things that were happening at that moment like uh, my contract i remember at that point um i remember at that point my contract was ca- almost almost coming to an end my job contract by then it was almost coming to an end and uh, uh, in few months time i was to become in few months time i was to be to become jobless but still i felt the urge to say it's done and after that i remember i was just so like my mind was just everywhere i remember uh, i felt like um i need to praise god more i need to give thanks to god more like i just felt like it's my time to say to give that i don't know if i've ever felt in that point whereby you feel like there is so many things that are about to to backfire but other than you feeling down like you just feel so 
like you just feel like you, you, you like your heart is so much like it's filled with so much expectation like that was me I remember that point when my job was almost coming to an end like i live alone so my all bills are on me i have so many cases in court like i I don't want I don't have anyone who I can run to maybe for accommodation like honestly I don't have that plus I I have my own house so even moving out to my friend's place like it will be like a uh, crazy because because I have my own stuff so I don't know where I, I will take them but I just felt I, I like my heart I I was not even afraid that my contract was coming to an end it was an non renewable contract but i just felt like it's my time to thank god i remember i used to sing there is this certain song called called praise this sing so it says that um that i will praise you i will praise you in every moment because my praise you praise you. okay i don't remember the 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 lyrics i don't remember but it's called praise it's sung by my memory has just shattered huh? my, my memory has just shattered but anyway guys um there is so many that have been happening to me and i don't know why i just feel like uh this house has made me to be closer and closer more closer to god okay not literally house but i feel like ever since i moved to this place i've experienced so much peace in my mind and i normally feel so peaceful when i'm in this house honestly I really feel so peaceful and I feel like when I'll be leaving this house it's like I'll be leaving some part of me. Yeah? But anyway, I think it's time for God to take me to another grace and I really don't can't wait. I really can't wait to see where God wants to take me. So guys, um when I'll be posting this video, <laughs> definitely I will have already moved to a two bedroom yeah that's what's up and the reason why i'm moving to a two bedroom i also don't know why i'm moving to a two bedroom honestly i don't know okay some people can say it's because uh, i am planning to bring my child but that's not the case as the things are standing right now okay i would i only want to talk about that um so much maybe in future we'll come to understand but right now as the things are standing um I can't live with my daughter because um maybe you come to understand in the future but right now I don't want even to give you a snippet I don't honestly don't want to give you a snippet but uh, I don't know why I felt compelled to move to a two bedroom but anyway I'm just hoping that everything will be okay I, and I, I really thank God because of this far because when I started life honestly when I started life I never envisioned myself to be in this point like if at that point you told me that maybe Joyce do you know like in the less than one year or in, in less than two years like you'll be in a two bedroom I would have said like it's a big no because when I was starting life I was wounded and I had no job and I was just me and me and me alone it was either I pick up my shit and start life or rather I go back home and I decided that you know what you know what Joyce you're a big girl so just pick up your pieces just pick up your shirts and just start your own life and that's what I did and I I don't want to say that I have been so brave like I have been so hard working like I have like no I I have done nothing like honestly I've done nothing everything that I am right now it's just God's mercy, honestly. Everything that I'm right now is just God's mercy and God's favor because I also can't explain, honestly. I also can't explain because um, uh, because um, I was okay. I don't want. To, I don't. Okay, let me not explain that because I don't. I don't like talking about some things that brings my memory back to some sad stuff. So honestly, I don't want to do that because God has been so faithful. And so um, my time to just remember sad stuff, it's over. That's what I said. It's done in 2023 and this year, 2024, is my year to just be so grateful to God. My year to just um, thank God because of what he's done to my life and what he's continued to do. And yeah, that's what's up. So guys, uh, I just um, 
decided to just sit down and do that video telling you guys that very soon i'm going to move out of this house that i love so much oh my goodness i will miss this house yeah but it's my time to go to the next level and when god says uh it's next level like i can't just hesitate and just be left here so it's my time to just move huh? guys don't mind my turban you know it's at night and normally my uh, it's at night and today is on saturday tomorrow is on sunday so i have uh, washed my i don't know how it's called the carats uh, the kakofia that i normally wear when i'm sleeping so i've already washed them and uh though most of the time when i'm in the house they just stay like well, normally when i'm in the house i i am just um like this i just look the way i want when i'm in the house and this is what you are seeing you are seeing me looking how i want yeah so guys that's it so see you next time and i don't know when i'm going to upload this video but anyway thank you for watching until the end please continue subscribing got you like got new commenting and until next time guys please continue trusting in god and he will make your ways um and he will give and he will give you the desires of your heart so bye bye sharon